Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to reset your Hikvision DVR password using the reset code. If you didn't set Hike Connect mobile app with your DVR or if you don't have your DVR GUID file, actually this is the first and last way to recover or reset your passcode. This is a quick and easy way to regain access to your DVR if you have forgotten your password. So here is nothing to say, just follow the video step by step. First of all, we need to download the SAT program and here the link of this program. Actually, of course, I will mention the link in description for you. So open up the browser and go to the link. So here is the download link as you can see it's a DP program. So click on download and wait to finish the download. After the download is finished, go to your actually download location file and try to unzip the SADP program. So I will extract it and go to the folder and start to install the program. Check the I agree and next and choose your language and next again install and wait. After the program installation is finished, go and open up your SADP program. So here is the interface of SADP program. As you can see there is not active device in the actual number of online device. So exit of the SADP software and it's time to connect your DVR to your PC by LAN cable. So follow the video step by step. First of all, connect your one side of your LAN cable to your PC and another side to your DVR LAN port. Let me show you closer and here is your LAN port. So connect your LAN cable to your DVR just like me. Now it's time to connect your adapter or your power to your DVR. So as you can see, here is the port of your adapter and plug it to your power. Now it's time to turn on your DVR. Wait for about two minutes until the device is fully loaded. Actually my friends you need your keyboard and your mouse like me and you should set up your device like this. Now open up your SADP program and here you can see the SADP detect our DVR and here the device type and you can see the status is active. 
now select or check your device ID and go to here and click on forget password now click on export keys and select your actually location file to save your XML actually export file now we have the file and go to the file location When you go to your file location, you must see your DVR with XML format. After that, open up a browser and go to your email box and actually we must send our DVR file which is XML file to actually high vision support email. Of course, I will mention the support email in description and here you can see the email address support at signhackvision.com in subject type reset password now attach your DVR file which is actually with XML format here select your DVR file and upload it Now send your email and wait for the reply. There is a point guys after first time you send your actually DVR file you will actually get a reply with this table or this form. Fill in the requested item accurately in their place. Of course I will show you how to actually find the items and how to fill the form if you see your replied email from high vision you can see actually after the case created a number which is your contact number you can find it on your actually title of your email or here now copy the table and paste it on the reply I mean again reply the email there is a trick here guys you can like me copy the table and open up the word file and paste it on there and try to actually fill the items step by step and after that paste it on the reply email the first item is contact number and I told that before how to find that just copy and paste the case number or contact number to find out your device information you can open up your SADP program and find your device type and another item here or there is a trick here I will tell you you can go to your SADP actually program and go to export device list and export your DVR information on your actual PC click on export device list and choose a random name example DVR and actually choose your location which is actually C drive I will go to my C drive and open up my DVR file which is with Excel format after open up your actually excel file you will find out actually two column here one of them is actually index and another one with actually number click on number and here in actually upper tab you will find your information let me show you how to find out your device information for example if you have your DVR actually physically on um, back side of your DVR you will find your actually your model number and your serial number again if you have your box of your DVR you should have your model number and device number and serial number like this and here you can see your even your software information or software actually version here 
now go to your excel file of your dvr information and with compare of it with your actually box model number or your back side of your dvr number you can find your device serial number with complete format and here as you can see i found my device serial number with complete format here you can find it and copy it and paste it in your form now let me show myself actually you can see here my device serial number actually guys there is a main point here pay attention to the actually correct format of your actually serial number you should send to high cohesion support as you can see you can actually type your device serial number and after that backslash again your serial number with correct format this is so important guys to actually get your reset code the correct and accurate format of your device information so here i will show you my form that i have prepared for submission and we will check it with item by items In type option, you can choose your end user or installer or distributor. Actually, I choose end user. And in network topology option, actually, you can type NIC1 local LAN, just like me. Number of issued devices, just type 1. You can find your device firmware version just like me go to your actually excel file and you can find here version 5 and build 17.0.7.11 now there is nothing left here just copy the form and paste and reply it email go to your inbox and reply the email that you got from iQuision support and paste the actually table and your information and in attach file again attach your XML file which is your actually iQuision DVR information Finally check your information and your uh, high vision file and after everything is ok please send your email and wait. Pay attention my friend do not turn off your DVR until you get the reset code email and reset your password because when you turn off your DVR your information of your device will change and when you get your reset code from the high vision support email it doesn't work for you because your information of your device is changed. After this important point, wait for the high vision support team email. Sometimes it takes about 12 hours or more to get the answer. When you see high vision support team email, it means you get your reset code. And the format of reset code should be like this. The reset code is valid for 48 hours, so as soon as possible, Please use the code and reset your high vision DVR passcode. Now copy the reset code and again go back to your SADP program and run it as an administration. Here you should select your device. Check the checkbox and again go back to forget password. At the bottom of the program select input key and paste your reset code here. And now it's time to select your new password. Your new password must contain letters and numbers and one of its numbers must be an uppercase letter. 
after confirm your password select reset and click on confirm here we are guys as you can see reset password succeeded so it's time to go back to your dvr page and enjoy your resetting of your new password finally go to your dvr page and try to log in your new password and here we are as you can see guys it works perfectly congratulations my friend if you have any question or any problem you can ask me in comments i will actually answer you as soon as possible thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget that to please subscribe my channel like this video and share it with your friends who have this problem see you soon guys be careful of yourself goodbye